that's locked. Not ideal for a relationship. Nope. Well, the news is I got a a skeleton key, a credit card, credit card. of the Northeast, as they say. When making pierogies, you need some key ingredients. Start off with flour, salt, egg, sour cream, butter, potatoes, sharp cheddar, and onions. The first thing you wanna do is make the dough. Add in a large bowl two cups of flour and a half teaspoon of salt. Add one egg to the flour and combine to the dough until it becomes lumpy. Work in a half cup of sour cream, a quarter cup of butter, until the dough becomes slightly rough. Using your fingertips, knead and fold the dough until the dough becomes less sticky. Once you've combined your ingredients with the dough, you want to knead it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to pull it apart like some people do with your heart, and then you want to smash it back together, you know, by yourself, like an independent. Just make a little happy ball, a little happiness ball. Wrap the dough in plastic wrap, set it in the fridge, and then let it rest. All right, it's important that you wait an hour to two days. It depends when she comes home. All right. Let's get to it. Now we roll out the dough and make our filling. First step into making your filling is to make mashed potatoes. What you want to do is cut up the potatoes into quarter inch slices. One place I always loved in Pennsylvania that I think everyone should visit is Lake Tobias. Uh, Lake Tobias is like a animal sanctuary slash zoo. There's also uh, like a safari ride thing I used to always do as a kid. If you go and you feed a bunch of animals, you get to see zonkeys, which is cool. If you're going to see Hershey Park, uh, it's not open all year. If you notice from the video, we only went to uh, Chocolate World. Chocolate World's open all year round, but Hershey Park is closed during the cold months because it's pretty cold in Pennsylvania. These look good. So I need to put them in the hot water. A lot of families make pierogies in Pennsylvania. Uh, it's because of the high German and Polish populations. Um, I know if you eat a lot of Polish places, there's pierogies usually. A lot of my friends' grandparents and stuff made pierogies. I remember getting them at amusement parks growing up. I'd go to this place called Knobles Grove, which is like an outdoor kind of amusement park that you can go camping. Uh, and stay with like for like a week with your family. It was really fun. At one point, they had the largest wooden roller coaster in the country, called the Phoenix. 
As you saw in the video, we went to a lot of Amish places. Another fun place that we didn't go to in the video is Gettysburg. We used to go there a lot growing up. Uh, it is a battlefield that a lot of people know about, but they do ghost tours. Uh, they're super fun. It just It's a great time to go with like a bunch of friends and stuff. And if you're into history and stuff too, obviously it's really cool. There's like people go there and do metal detecting and you know find like cannonballs and old bullets and stuff like that. Once they become soft, mash them into mashed potatoes. Then you combine those potatoes with a cup of shredded cheese into a bowl. You mix them all together and then you have your filling. Add a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. And then it's time to fill those pierogies. Roll out your dough until it's about an eighth of an inch thick. Use a two inch round cutter to cut the dough. I use the top of a teapot lid. Oh, that's a pierogi. Cut out all the dough, then roll the dough back out that you have left, and then cut out even more. Another thing I really like is during New Year's in Pennsylvania, they drop things like in New York. But in New York, you know, they drop the ball. Boring, right? In Dillsburg, where I grew up, we drop a pickle because why not? And then in neighboring cities, uh, they all drop different things. Like in Lancaster, they drop a white rose or a red rose, I forget. And York drops a white or a red too, but they drop the opposite. I always remember that. In Lebanon, they drop bologna because they're known for Lebanon bologna. Mechanicsburg drops a wrench because mechanic, the word. Carlisle drops a car because of the word car. There's not a lot of good reasoning behind it, all of it. Cool. When I roll them up, I'm going to fill them up and then fry them up. Place one and a half teaspoons of filling in the dough. Fold over the dough gently to form a pocket. Pinch the edges to seal the pierogi. And then seal it again with a fork, pushing down, making little lines around the outside of the pierogi. Once your pierogi is airtight, you can put your pierogies in a bag and then freeze them up to four weeks. Now it is time to make the pierogies. Boil a pot of salted water, then add as many pierogies as you can that won't get stuck together. Occasionally stir them just to make sure they don't get stuck. Once the pierogies float, that means that they are done. This time may vary based on if you have frozen pierogies or fresh pierogies. You just wait. Be patient. Be patient with your significant other. Wait. Don't rush things. You know? If you fail and have to move back home, it happens. You stick by that person. You don't just run away in fear. In Pennsylvania, you really have to watch out for Lyme disease. There's a lot of ticks. And um, Pennsylvania, in more than any other state or any other country, has the worst case of Lyme disease. My mom has Lyme disease, my grandpa has Lyme disease, my dad has Lyme disease. A lot of their friends do, it's kind of crazy. So just be careful. I mean, there's not really a nice way to avoid it other than like wear pants in the woods. While the progies are boiling, cut up your onion. So Pennsylvania isn't just where I grew up. Uh, it's actually where I went to community college. It was a lot cheaper choice. I know a lot of people don't do it, but I recommend it. It's not. Once the pierogies begin to float, it is time to pan fry them. Pull out a pan, add a quarter cup of butter and your onion. Cook it until the onions are crispy and brown. Then add your pierogies, and then you cook them until they're also crispy and brown. Serve with sour cream, applesauce, or any other sides you like. Alright, Grandma's 
rogies. I am pumped. It's been a long time. Ready to dig in. They're so awesome, you guys. You're gonna... Mmm. 